Welcome back. The 58th Annual Children's Festival, presented by the Storytelling Guild, kicks off this Saturday in Jacksonville. Joining us this morning are the festival directors, Julie and Heather. Welcome, guys. Thank you. So first things first, how would you describe the Children's Festival to someone who's never been before? Well, it's hard to describe because it's such a unique experience. Um, you know, a lot of people think about fairs where there's booths and people are, you know, advertising things and you go to the expo or something like that. It's nothing like that at all. It's 30 plus craft and art booths and then there's a science booth and there's uh, dragons that eat trash. There's, you know, a science, a, I better say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you can buy some food at the Dragon Deli, but the, it's four dollars to go in. N after that, there's no tickets. There's nothing else that costs anything, and there's no advertising. It's all very kind of old-fashioned in a sense, and mm -hmm. um, the kids love it. There's an area for younger kids, what we call the Mother Goose Land, that has macaroni necklaces, just some classic old-time art-type yes. things that they do. And then we have on the upper hill, we have clay and body art and tie-dye, and it's just... It's, it's pretty magical, actually, the first time I've ever seen it. It, it is hard to describe because a lot of people picture something, yeah. you know, something different. But um, sounds very magical. It is. What you're describing it really it. is. What would you say are your guys' favorite parts of the festival? My favorite part as a volunteer is seeing kids and families come. The only screens around are if a mom's taking a picture. Um, it's kids doing carpentry and gold panning and putting their hands in sand to make a print. It's um, just fun and as a mom my favorite part was the mess stayed there. There was painting and glitter and glue and my kids had a ball and after that we went home and I didn't have the mess. Um, the other thing I love is it's all volunteers and everyone is genuinely happy to be there and we we do it all for the kids but a lot of the volunteers are teenagers who had done it as a child and now it's their turn and it's just yeah it's awesome. that sounds like a good opportunity yeah. for them what is the best way to get involved or support the storytelling guild and the children's festival so the children's festival is a part of the storytelling guild which is a an organization that does events throughout the year uh, one thing that we do is a puppet show in February at the Criterion. We hire a puppet theater group that comes in. It's free. Uh, we do a pat, what they call a pass the book, which where we collect books and pass them out to different organizations. There's a story time that we do at the different preschools. Um, we do thing? a book walk in January yes. where we visit um, elementary, elementary schools. schools and do a fashion show to introduce third graders to books maybe they haven't read or encourage them to read more books. So there are a lot of events throughout the course of the year that the Guild all designed to promote literacy in children and get them excited about reading, which is one of the things in the festival, each booth, let's say you're at the tie-dye booth, there are signs that say, if you enjoyed this booth, you might like to read this book. And so the books kind of correlate with um, with the whatever activity is that the ch child is doing so that they can connect, you know, reading with the fun they're having. So Really important stuff, yeah. too, by the way. Yeah. What does the Storytelling Guild do for the rest of the year? <laughs> That's it. The, the puppet show and the book walk and the story times. We also have an ongoing um, book story time at a local bookstore. Um, we do the past the book program um, donating books to agencies that serve kids so that they can either start their own library for that agency or gift the books to kids so that they will have books in their home. Very nice. Well, um, Julie Heather, is there anything else that either of you would like to add this morning before we wrap up? Just that our theme is Read, Rejoice, and Remember, and this year's 58th annual Children's Festival is dedicated to Pat Blair. She's the artist who created Fred the Dragon, who has been our mascot for the 58 years. And um, we lost her, and we just want to share her passion and love for reading and literacy. And she gifted her 
repertoire of all the art that she's created every year on a new theme with all kinds of Fred's Dragons, and we want people to come see the gallery we're creating for her and come share the magical fun of Children's Festival. Very nice. Well, thank you so much, both of you, for joining me this morning. Thank you for thank having you. us. Of course. The 58th Annual Children's Festival runs this Saturday through Monday at the Brick Gardens and Pavilion in Jacksonville. Tickets are $4 a person, and Saturday and Sunday, it's from 4.30 to 8.30, Monday, 9.30 to 1 p.m. With over 30 arts and craft booths, including face painting, gold panting, panning, <laughs> glay, leather, stage performances, and, of course, storytelling, there's something for kids of all ages to enjoy. For more information, you can visit the website at the bottom of your screen. Once again, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. We hope to see you there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we'll be right back.